Hi everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. And in this video, I wanna go over our auto tracking camera setup. PTZ Optics offers multiple auto tracking cameras. In fact, all of our new PTZ cameras feature built-in auto tracking. It is built into the camera, so it does not require any additional software. And I'd like to show you some of the finer details of setting up your auto tracking cameras and controlling them with the best possible settings for your scenario. All right, so I have a PTZ Optics IP joystick in front of me. This is the PT Joy G4, our fourth generation IP joystick. Now, what I'm gonna show you is the ability to turn on auto tracking with just the click of a button on the top of this joystick. You can do this with the PT Joy G4. You can also do this with the PTZ Optics Super Joy. And of course, you can turn auto tracking on and off with the uh, IR remote control. And you can also turn off auto tracking for PTZ Optics cameras from the web interface. So remotely over your local area network. But what I wanna do is I wanna show you the web interface for the PT Joy G4 and show you how to set this up. So I have a couple different cameras uh, available to me today. I have a PTZ Optics Move SE and I have a PTZ Optics Move 4K. And they have some slightly different auto tracking features, but in general, uh, we can use some of the same settings. So in the PT Joy G4, you can type in the IP address of this joystick, which if your network is set up with DHCP, it will receive an IP address and it will display it on the front display of the joystick. So whatever it's displaying as its native IP at the top, you can type that into a web browser type in admin and no password, and it will get you in. Now you might want to set up a password in the settings area, of course, but just by default, there's no password to get in. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add cameras to this joystick. Now I have already added multiple cameras to this joystick. In fact, camera two is going to be my Move SE camera and camera three is actually going to be my Move 4K camera, and I'm going to show both of these. But one thing in particular that I wanted to show really quickly is the ability to set up a custom button. Now, custom buttons are essentially the ability to have whenever you switch to a specific camera, you can have a custom action happen, meaning whenever you switch to a specific camera, you can automatically have auto tracking turn on. Now I'm not gonna do that because not every single time I switch to a specific camera do I need auto tracking. I wanna set up a custom button and this custom button that I'm gonna set up here, let me uh, zoom out, is going to be a um, HTTP trigger for the joystick. So that button on the top that I mentioned that is a joystick button, um, I'm going to set up an HTTP trigger that starts auto tracking. And we have this custom command here. And I want to show a little bit about this. Little Before I just jump right into this, I want to show kind of what I'm talking about here and what I'm about to set up. So the Move SE PTZ Optics camera start at just $999. And so it's less than $1,000. They have the built-in auto tracking. And I want to show it to you with the PT Joy G4, which is only $650 and has the ability to have this custom button on top, which we can use to start and stop auto tracking. We could use it to start and stop recording in vMix. You can actually put in any HTTP or CGI command into this joystick and control it with that button. And that's the same with the Super Joy as well. We looked at the automatic triggers as well, which could be used to auto, auto track whenever you switch to a specific camera, but we're gonna focus on that HTTP trigger. Now a new feature in the latest firmware for PTZ Optics IP joysticks is a new button, a new command a string, it's called a variable or a stub, is something called current cam. And what that does is whatever the current camera you are, you are on, so if you're on camera one, camera two, three, four, five, whatever the IP address is there, it will, it will insert that into the command that is sent out through the custom button, through that button on the joystick controller. So we're gonna use that custom camera variable in a command that can turn off and on auto tracking. Now this is also great for maybe snapping focus or taking a picture with the camera. It could be any command, but we're gonna show it with auto tracking.
And in this diagram, this is showing our super joy, but I just want to show how dynamic this could be. Um, these custom buttons will work with any IP connected camera. So it could be a Sony camera, it could be a Panasonic camera, it could be an NDI camera. As long as the camera supports this IP command, you can use this current camera variable and you can use the, the joysticks to not only take manual pan tilt zoom control, but to turn off and on auto tracking. So this new custom button is really cool. It also supports super presets. Now a super preset is a preset that can send a PTZ camera preset command to multiple cameras at the same time. Now a PTZ camera preset is of course when you zoom in the camera, you find a specific location, you save it, and then you can recall it uh, with a click of a button. A super preset allows you to do that with multiple cameras at the same time. Now another Fairly new feature, this is not new new, but it's been out for a while, is the toggle button. So when you enable toggle, what that does is the first time you press the custom button, it does one command. The second time you press it, it does a second command. That is ideal for on and off, right? Auto tracking on and auto tracking off. So you can do that for start recording, stop recording, start streaming, stop streaming, things of that nature. This has been a really popular feature for our joystick controllers. So before we get into our brand new PTZ Optics Producer bundles, I want to show you how all this works. All right. So we are now talking about our HTTP triggers. We're looking at joystick button number one here, and I'm going to zoom in to give you a little bit of closer view. Now, when you set up a custom trigger, you can, of course, do that super preset that we talked about. You could do a TCP, but we're going to do an HTTP trigger. Now, this HTTP command right here, you can find on our website. You can find it in the blog. It is using that current cam variable. So I'm going to be able to use the same button to trigger auto tracking on a PTZ Optics Move SE. And I can also use this same button to trigger auto tracking on a PTZ Optics Move 4K or multiple cameras. So you can get a lot more out of your custom buttons using this variable to change the IP address. It's not hard coded with the IP address of the camera. It is the IP address that we have already set up over here in our camera main camera settings area. Okay. So let's jump in and show how this works. Now I have a PTZ Optics Move SE camera here, and I'm going to log into that with the default password admin admin. And we're going to start taking a look at some of the auto tracking capabilities of these cameras. Now, in the control tab in camera settings, this is where we have our auto tracking on and off buttons. Now, you can just trigger auto tracking by simply cl literally clicking apply here and turning on auto tracking. That is one way to do it. So just to see auto tracking is now on, I can get up. Okay, and the camera is going to be able to follow me. That's how auto tracking works, right? So I just turned on auto tracking, but I'm going to turn it off really quickly because I want to show you how some of this auto tracking stuff works uh, with the joystick controller and some of the more finer details. So let's zoom into this a little closer and show you some of the features here. So you, of course, have the ability to turn auto tracking on and off. Um, you have the ability to do a time delay if you'd like. And that can be from 1 to 60 seconds. But more importantly, you have the ability to choose a tracking start location. So what that means is I can start tr have track now on. And wherever you are with this camera. So let's see here. Let's go to camera 2 on my joystick. And I can control this camera, right? Wherever I'm at with this camera, I can start tracking. Uh, and and that, that is a great option. So now that I have that track now option on and I hit apply, if I zoom into myself and I hit the button on the top, it is now going to start auto tracking in that specific place, right? And so now it's auto tracking me and it's going to give some, some headroom, right? For, uh, for, you know, keeping me in, in frame here. And now by clicking that next button again, that's that toggle feature, I can stop tracking. And it's just going to stay where it is, right? That's a pretty good feature. But if you are in, in a classroom environment or if you are in an environment where you want the camera to go to a specific location, we can choose preset numbers 
and I'm going to choose preset one, for example. And I'm going to, because I'm the only one here, I'm just going to zoom into this location here. And I'm going to set this for preset one, hit set. Now, what this does is it essentially tells the camera to go to a specific location in your scene and then start auto tracking. So if you're a teacher at the front of a classroom, now when I hit the start tracking button, and I'll just do this with the apply button here, uh, auto tracking will start after it calls preset one. So if you're a teacher that's always at the front of a classroom, or you always want the camera to go to a specific location and then start tracking, you can do it this way as well. So that is my demonstration of the PTZ Optics Move SE being used with a PT Joy G4, our new IP joystick, and the cameras. But what, what if we want to uh, go to another PTZ camera seamlessly with our joystick controller? Well, I have another camera here. This is the PTZ Optics Move 4K. And I'm going to go ahead and log into this camera as well. And when I log into this camera, I want to show some of the additional features that the Move 4K have. The Move 4K cameras are a little bit more advanced. They're a little bit more expensive. They're, they're, they have a little bit stronger processing power as well. So they have some additional features for auto tracking. And I'm going to uh, show that in just a moment here. Uh, in fact, I need someone to come in and help me with this feature uh, because this feature is the presenter lock feature. Now, I want to mention that PTZ Optics Move SE and Move 4K cameras both support PTZ Optics Presenter Lock. And Presenter Lock is a feature which allows you to have a bounding box around the person and uh, you can select the person you want to uh, track. So I've got Mike coming in here. He's going to help me. I'm going to turn auto tracking on. And what you're going to see this time is a it's going to automatically tr track Mike. So Mike, go ahead and walk around for a moment here. And it chose Mike, but but what if I wanted to choose me? Well, we have this ability to have the uh, to change the person with a bounding box there. So I just switched between myself and Mike. This is a feature exclusive to the Move 4K, and uh, you can easily switch between people using the IR remote or another feature like this. So the Move SE can do this, but it doesn't have the bounding boxes. Thanks, Mike. Um, so let me turn that off, and I want to just show a couple more features here. Now, there's another feature I want to show. Um, now, again, using this IR or this joystick, I can click a button. Oh, wait, I am on the Move SA. I better turn that off. Uh, I have to go to camera three here and click a button and enable auto tracking, right? This is set to go to preset zero currently. It's auto tracking on me, and when I click the button, you'll notice that nothing has come up on the screen. This is a feature that I want to show here really quickly. By default, just to kind of show you what's going on, the camera will show information on the screen. If you're in a live production, you probably don't want auto tracking on and off to show up on the screen. So by default, it's going to have start tracking and it's going to show the IP address of the camera. And then when I click the button again, it's going to say stop tracking. This is just a little pro tip we wanted to share with you guys. You can go into the setup using the, um, the OSD menu here. Let me get this a little bigger for you or a little bit more easier in view. And you can go into other and you can turn off display info so that you do not see that when you turn off and on auto tracking, it'll just lock in. Now, the final thing to note, by the way, is if you do want to have those bounding boxes turned on, you have the ability to have them off, have them on to select your target, or you can have it in a debug mode, which will actually show you every single person in the scene that the camera can see. Um, so it's pretty cool for learning how this, all this works, but a lot of people don't need that during a live production. All right. That is how to set up your PTZ Optics camera for auto tracking. Now, I just want to leave by letting you guys know that we have new bundles for PTZ Optics Move SE and Move 4K cameras that are perfect for having a, a basically a complete auto tracking system. You can save over $1,000 
by buying a bundle over buying all of these products individually. So there's a bundle for the Move SE and a bundle for the Move 4K. It's three cameras. It's a really great setup. Uh, we've got a lot of great tutorial videos on that. So check that out. And we are always, I just want to mention this, we are always making these cameras better. We have a new firmware coming out very soon for the Move 4K cameras, and I believe the Move SE cameras as well. Um, and they are going to have a lot more features for auto tracking. So keep your feature requests coming in. If you have a request, leave it in the comments below. We're making a lot of firmware updates and feature improvements in this year and the coming years as well. Uh, all these cameras have a five-year warranty. So we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys in the next one.